girl. I was just preheating my oven to 375 because today I am demoing how to make a raspberry jam bar. Doesn't that sound amazing? So I'm usually not a big fruit fan when it comes to my cookies. However, this just sounded too good to pass up. And all you need is one box of yellow cake mix. And you know me and those recipes. If it calls for a cake mix, I'm going to pick it. It's easy. Then one jar of raspberry jam or any type of jam. If you're not a raspberry fan, strawberry jam would be just as fine. Blackberry. Ooh, that sounds really good. And quick oats, which you need to find the quick oats if you're going to make this, not the old fashioned oats. Quick oats are a little more tender and usually are the oats that are called for in like an oatmeal cookie. Okay. All right. So our first thing that we need to do is melt our butter. Whoops. It's a chunk of butter. Bow down. So I'm actually adding a stick of butter and then a fourth of a cup of butter. So that is four tablespoons. This all together is three fourths of a cup of butter. Now we'll always remember though, hey, they always have a nice little measurement on our butter. So all you have to do is cut to the one fourth. Easy peasy, right? All right, I am going to go ahead and melt my butter up. Now I usually do it under like a minute. I don't want it to, um, Sorry, it was starting to jump in. I don't want it to make a mess and almost blow up in my uh, microwave. So I usually do it between 30 to 45 seconds. I'll look to see how it's doing, and then I'll go from there. All right, while that's going, I'm going to add my cake mix to a bowl. I have, I can smell like um, burnt cake. I must have cake droppings that spilled over from my soda cake. All right, so I have my melted butter now. Perfect. Oh, you can't really see it. It's okay. It's perfect, let me tell you. All I'm doing is whisking it up a bit. There was just a little bit of a chunk of... Um, solid butter in there, but it, after I whisk it up, it was fine. So I'm adding my cake mix and my oats. The oats call for one and a half cups. So I'm just, oh, let me go ahead and pull this down. You don't need to see my pretty face. So my cake mix and my oats are in there. Just gonna do a quick stir to incorporate both ingredients. All right, and then I'm going to stir in my melted butter. Oh, there was a chunk. Oh well, we'll be okay. And all I'm doing is gonna mix it with a spoon. It could be a wooden spoon. I have a, oh, it's preheated. I have a metal spoon. So it's not a problem with what type of spoon you get. And it says mix it up until crumbly. I'm not really seeing crumbly. I'm more seeing this, which is okay because this is going to be our crust of our bar. And then we're going to layer it with some stuff. So I'm fine with this. It is crumbly. I can see what they're saying. Yeah, that's, I could say that. So there we go. I'm going to set that off to the side. Oops, make sure I get all that flour. Yep, all right. Now with this, I'm going to add my jam, one jar full. Oh, 
Oh, for caramel wine. There we go. Mm, it smells so good. I love raspberries. Raspberry and chocolate's my favorite. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to get it all out. But it's starting to hurt my ears. All right. So I have my raspberry filling jam. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of water to it. Now, it's going to be a little weird, so I'm kind of using my whisk to break up my jam. The water, really, all we're doing is um, watering down the jam a little so it spreads easier. There we go. It's starting to mix up a little bit better. There. And this is what I'm looking for. Something that's more able to spread out. All right. So let me go and grab um, Crisco to grease my pan. I'll be right back. So since these are bar cookies, we do want to be sure that we grease our pan down. And I actually may run off and grab some parchment paper. We'll see. Yeah, I think we'll do it. All right, I'm getting, making sure I'm going, getting all the sides. I'm getting the corners. Tossing the rest. There wasn't a lot on there. There we go. Let me wipe my hands off. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to take a bit of my crumble. Oh. Miss Park still here. No, I'm making a video. Okay. Now, is that going to put all the... Is that going to make most of my crust? Probably not, just half of it. But at least I can start with something. And all I'm doing... Can you see what I'm doing? There we go, that's better. Is pressing down my crust. Now, while I'm doing that with my fingers at first, I'm then going to take a metal measuring spoon. Yeah, measuring cup, excuse me, not spoon. And I'm gonna press it down a little better. That way, kind of moves it a little better. See? So I'm making a crust. I'm making my base. we go. Got my brace. Got my corners filled in. Got my 
my sides filled in. There we go. Yummy yum. That's what my daughter says. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to spoon over my jam mixture. Mixture, mixture. Oops. Use my hand. Mmm, this smells so good. This is gonna be so good. All right. Now I've made a mess. Let me wash my hands. All right. Now, I'm just evenly getting all the through all the sides, even layer. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Again, I'll have to wash my hands, but that's okay. All that yummy goodness. And then over top, I'm going to take my remaining crumble and crumble it on the top. Now, since I've used such a big pan, I'm actually going to have to get, make more crumble, which is not a problem. I have another box of cake mix that I will do. There we go. Let me go grab that. says on this recipe to use a 9 by 13 pan. I suggest not to. I would suggest using a 9 by 9 pan. It make I think it would make for great bars for the size, but this actually needs two boxes of cake mix and it doesn't call for that. We can't all be perfect like Chef Earl. I'm melting the rest of my one of the stick of butter, the three, um, no, the, yeah, the half a stick of butter. And then I have my cake mix again. And I'll add a few more oats. May, yeah. Here's another cup. A half a cup. Needed a little more time. I'll clean up while that's going. Because we always like to clean as we go. All right. Melted butter to my mix. Spoon.
There we go. This is better crumble for sure. This will be nice for the top. And there we go. I'll pour, ooh, I'll pour that over there and then I'll place it in the oven for 25 minutes and I'll take a picture when it cools. Thanks guys. You guys back. All right, so my bars have cooked and baked. Ooh, they look so good. And now I've allowed it to cool. I'm gonna slice. Ooh, my crumble topping looks so yummy. All right. I'm gonna do nice size bars. And there we go. And let's see if I can pull it off. Make sure you have a clean plate, which I do. <laughs> All right. So I said you need for the easiest piece to get out when you start with, excuse the background noise of my radio, um, is a corner piece. So I'm taking my butter knife, I'm running it down the side. There we go. And now I'm gonna use both. Kinda. Now, we all know the first one is not always the prettiest. I'm gonna get a fork. Here, let's see what we have. Oops, look at that. Should just use the correct tool, right? All right, yum. Oh, look at that. There we go, guys. There's our raspberry crumble bar. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next demo.